So it is Thursday, December 23rd, 3 p.m. Uh, you know, I, when I started this channel, I never had the goal of growing subscribers or anything like that. I really got the idea from watching a video on Bricks Fitness where he had some video of himself early on in his transformation. And I thought to myself, you know what? It'd be really cool if I documented my transformation. And I started this video to really just hold myself accountable. Uh, I never give any kind of fitness advice. All I talk about is what I'm doing. Uh, and I try to capture the important moments. And this is definitely one of them. Um, I'm in disbelief that this is going on. You know, as I've said many times, Two years ago, when I started my channel, I didn't think I'd be doing this. Um, I'm I'm still in disbelief. I'm definitely appreciative that I followed through and was able to accomplish what I set out to do, but I'm in disbelief about what's going on, and this is very important for me to get on film. Um, you know, I've been watching a lot of my old videos this week. I've been off pretty much since Tuesday afternoon. I'm on vacation until. January 3rd, um, and so usually two, er two, two times of the year where I become very reflective on my birthday, and I think about what I've done and since my previous birthday and year end, and these are two, two times where, you know, I tend to look back uh, at the year that's passed, and, you know, it's important for me to continue on this on this path to continue on this transformation you know it's crazy I feel more motivated now than I did two years ago because I believe I can do it I believe that the effort will lead to results and that's something I struggled with early on because I've tried this so many times and failed but you know today is just a historic historic day um I'm in disbelief that this is going on but I mean, we're here now. This is this is where I am on this transformation. So this is what I've been doing for the last three hours. I took my time. I took everything out one item at a time, folded it up, thought about memories I had in some of these clothes. But I've made a decision that I'm not going back. I've made a decision that this is a permanent change and it's still going on. And every shirt in my closet that was above a single X is sitting here on this counter. Every single one. And every pair of pants, and you can see there are quite a few, every pair of pants that is above a 40 waist is sitting on this counter. I am giving away more clothes than I actually have left. And I'm giving away all of my belts that are over a 40. There are about seven or eight of them there. But I am saying goodbye to being obese. I am saying goodbye to a 46, 48 waist. I am saying goodbye to a 3, 4X shirt. I am saying goodbye to a 2X shirt. I am saying goodbye to all of this. A couple of hours ago, these hangers were full of clothes. As I said, I have given away a hell of a lot more than what I've got left. I only have about, what, seven to eight pairs of casual pants, a handful of pairs of uh, dress pants. I've given away most of my work shirts. I'm giving away my old suits. These, these don't fit anymore, but my closet is empty. Look at all of the empty hangers. Look at all of the empty hangers. So this is a big step for me. I am committing to 
this lifestyle. I'm committing to this change being permanent. You know, my wife saw me folding up my clothes earlier and said, you must be excited. And I said, actually, I'm not. I actually feel sad and I feel nervous. Um, I feel sad because I think of just all the years I struggled, the similar to when I, you know, recorded the video where I crossed 100 pounds lost. It's just like thinking about all the years I spent not being happy wearing a 46, 44 inch waist, wearing a 3X shirt. Like I, uh, those emotions have come to the surface. Um, and then also nervous because I'm like, what if, what if, you know, what if six months from now I'm I'm 280 again and, and I don't have any clothes that fit me. And so those fears are, are there. And, you know, I keep saying to myself, this is, this is, this, this transformation is going in one direction. Like I'm not going back to being 280, 290, 300 pounds. I'm just not, you know, I've maintained the weight loss this entire year. I've gone over 265 pounds on two occasions and I freaked out when that happened. And two years ago, being 260 would have been cause for a party. Like I would have been celebrating. And I want that to be, at some point, I want that to be 230. Um, like, oh my God, I'm over 230 pounds. Like I, that's, that's where I want things to be. I, that's how I feel about 250 right now. And I was celebrating with 250 last year when I ended the year at 249. You know, this is a permanent change. This isn't this isn't something I'm going back to. I'm never going back to that pile over there. I'm never going back to a 46 jean. I'm never going back to a 48 jean. I'm never going back to a 3X t-shirt. Like those days are over. And this in in a way is me saying goodbye to the old me. Um, I don't have the story where some of other people where I feel like they feel like being out of shape impacted them in other areas of life. Like career-wise, I've done well. Financially, I've done well. Uh, I've done well in a lot of areas of my life. But I will say I've I've added a lot of discipline. I've added a lot of focus with being able to change this about myself. So I feel like I'm definitely sharper. I feel like I've definitely benefited in those areas in my life. I mean, the restraint I have to eat once a day <laughs> five out of six days, you know, it helps me in terms of staying later at the office. It helps me in terms of being able to say no to an impulse purchase with my finances. You know, it helps me in a lot of other ways. It helps me with patience with my daughter. Um, it, it helps me in a lot of other ways. Um, so it's not as if, you know, I'm, I'm saying goodbye to my, the entire person, but from a health and fitness perspective, I am saying goodbye to the last 20 years and, you know, it's definitely an emotional moment for me, um, giving away all of these damn clothes, but I am saying goodbye. I don't ever want to be in a position where I can fit these clothes again. And I feel like I am committing to staying on this journey um, by taking away the option of going back. And don't be fooled. It definitely, those clothes staying in my closet were definitely a function of, well, just in case I'm taking that off the table. So I'm going to go to Goodwill right now. I'm going to give all of these clothes away and I'm not looking back. Very historic moment. Um, you know, very emotional moment for me. It's similar to the 100 pound video. Just a lot of old memories going through as I was folding those clothes one at a time. Um, you know, I thought about a lot of times, some of the stuff I remember where I bought it, some of the stuff I remember where I wore it to. And in some instances, like especially the some of the dress pants I bought back in 2017, the 46 and 48, I distinctly remember feeling terrible as I was buying those because I had gained so much weight that I couldn't even fit a 42 or a 44, which is what pretty much I was when I was about 300. I was about 300, I was about a 42, 44, and I got up to a 46 and I had a 48. Uh, and I had my sweats that a 3X, that, that was like the only casual thing I could wear back in 2017. The ones I showed him, the video where I had lost 100 pounds. So, 
you know, it's not just these inanimate objects, their memories tied to these. And you know what? I'm happy to be saying goodbye to them. So for now, for Reed Fitness, signing off on another historic day as I close out 2022, 2021, sorry.